I just got a gift box, guys. Okay. Now, this is from my goat, Valley Tech Solutions. Okay. And if you do not know who he is, yeah, my goat cow. And I've been talking to this guy, and he legitimately is, like, the coolest person I've ever talked to. I could talk to him for hours, just straight on. We both had the time. Valley Tech Solutions, though, very, very neat. And I got a gift box, actually. Some pretty cool stuff to check out. But we're taking a look at one very important thing today, so... Let me show you. Let me show you what's in here, okay? So we got some stickers, and we know what we're gonna be doing with those, okay? Now you know what had to happen. Real quick break to toss on a Valley Tech Solution sticker on our wall. We have some business cards, but this is what we came here for. So let's toss it on. Well, I guess it will just go right here, and only the real ones know it's there. Uh, I'll get a better situation figured. I don't know what to do, but I mean, obviously. Still looks dope. Let's get back to the video. Then we have the Ponagachi board for the Flipper Zero. So the Flipper Zero attachment for the Ponagachi board. Oh, Ilya, didn't you sell your your Flipper Zero? Oh, guys, we got a new one. But no, it, I did not get a new one just because I wanted a new one. I'm going to be doing a series here on YouTube, but we'll talk about that later. Different video. Then we got a M5 stick header. So for the M5 stick, you could add an RF24, CC1101. We have the M5 card pewter add-on in here. Literally, so much stuff, okay? And then we also have Flipper Zero battery and the Mayhem Flipper Zero board. So a bunch of stuff, but there's, there's one more thing in here, guys, okay? And it truly is my favorite thing in this package. And that will be the Bruce Smoochie board, okay? Now, this thing is just crazy looking. I can't wait to get some thumbnails with this until you see the back. Okay. Now, this thing could go, like, sh straight blind you for, like, an hour straight. It's crazy. But this thing, these are all IR bulbs at the top one receiver, all transmitters, NRF24 antenna, GPS antenna, CC1101 antenna. And I'm adding, I'm actually adding an FC on here, too. So this thing is just packed and RFID with a bunch of stuff. And you're like, wow, Ilya. Really, uh, Super cool. So, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to buy these. Now, it is different. Okay. I have, like, my little go team bed CC1101. But there's just a difference between these two. Not just because it looks cool. But when I first got this, it didn't have the case, so I 3D printed it. And you just see how much effort was put into making this. It's, like, a literal work of art. You see all the soldering points. And it really just is awesome. So, I mean, let's go through it, and I want to show it off to you guys. Now, one of the main things on here... Is going to be the GPS antenna. Now, if you have something like your Flipper Zero, you have to get a war driving board if you want to do war driving because the Flipper Zero doesn't have Wi Fi or GPS. Like, go team bed CC101 does have the Wi Fi but no GPS. So, let me show you this guy. Go ahead. I'll, fi I'll find a good place to put the camera. Okay, so it has the three antennas up here. Now, there is a V3 coming out next month, I think, which we'll be taking a look at. And Let's just take a look at this. So we have our Wi-Fi tax, and this is on the Bruce firmware. And I know you could get like a two-dollar board, put Bruce on it, but obviously it's not gonna be able to do all the stuff this thing can do. So of course it's gonna have all of your Wi-Fi tax, Evil Portal, everything you're gonna need in there. Bruce Gotchi looks pretty cool on this guy. Not gonna lie, especially with my awesome green case. I really like it. But we're gonna have our BLE attacks, our iBeacon, bad BLE, Apple Juice, you know, all the basics. Also. Love all the screws on here. Just got them in today. Now, we have Ethernet. I don't I don't have one device that can do Ethernet yet, so it will be interesting. Then we have RF. So obviously this has the CC1101 CC1101 antenna right here. So this is gonna be perfect for RF. You have your raw record, customs of gigahertz, spectrum is always cool to look at. Uh I guess not right now, in my boring little town. <laughs> but there is a bunch of, obviously, there's a bunch of cool stuff on here. And <clears throat> it is a pretty awesome device. So then we also, no RFID, but like I said, I'm going to be adding it through the GPIO ports back here. Saw a video on it. We have IR. And not only is IR amazing on here, because it has so many bulbs in here. The Flipper Zero is one of these bulbs. Just showing you how well it levels up. And then with the receiver on here, too. So this thing's going to be turning off TVs from a very good distance. That's the thing none of these devices do well. It's going to be the IR. Now, I know it's not like as important as the other stuff, but 
We also have a GPS in here, a GPS tracker. Uh, well, I'm inside, so it's looking for a valid location, but you guys get the point. So we also have NRF24, and I just want to show you how this works real quick. We're going to have the Spectrum, the Hammer, the NRF Hammer, the CH Hammer, the CH Hopper. So let me show you this works real quick with a speaker. Bro, it's, it says easy as that. And there goes the speaker. So I mean, it is very neat. I wish more devices had NRF24. And I know there's stuff like the BLE hammer now. And yeah, I'm going to keep saying hammer because... Uh, I ain't trying to get banned from YouTube. They're already attacking me for my live streams, guys. It's outrageous. But this thing is just awesome, okay? I absolutely love it. Uh, anytime you use anything in NRF24, it always gives you this warning disclaimer. Because that's where it gets bad. But, I mean, this is just such an awesome board. I can't wait to show it in the future. This is my... I mean, it's like, obviously, every time you get a new device, it's going to be your favorite. But it's just like... it. Why do you go so high? But it just is my favorite. It does, like, the most stuff out of all my devices. I have my Chameleon. I have my iCopy XS for RFID. And this guy does everything else. Now, yeah, I'm not hating on the... Ooh. I'm not hating on the CC1101. But it is a pretty pricey board. But can you put a price on a piece of art? That is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Check out Valley Tech Solutions in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.